everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is just a little chit chat here, a portion of this video before I morph into <laughs> a little bit of an organizing video that I recorded last Friday, something like that, Thursday or Friday. <laughs> I just pull all the florals out of my garage and, and I just, you know, kind of organize them. And then I take you out in my garage and I give you a little tour out there and I show you, you know, the garage. But I just thought I would come and chit chat with you for a little bit, kind of in real time here. I am uh, currently on my way to Home Goods. Uh, Chris is on a motorcycle ride and he'll be back in a little while here. Uh, I had a lady really kind of not in a very nice way ask me, why don't you go with him on his motorcycle rides? And I do sometimes, or I did. Uh, and I probably will again now that I've lost some weight. There for a while, I was way too heavy. And I felt like I was way too heavy. He always said, oh, don't worry about it. I can carry you because he's got a big gold wing, you know. That I actually show you at the end of this video. As a matter of fact, you'll see his gold wing. Uh, but... I didn't feel comfortable on the back with him. I felt like everybody would be looking at me going, oh, look at that fat woman on the back of that motorcycle. Can you tell, oh my land, does she not have control? Can she stop feeding her? You know, like I kind of was talking about in my weight loss video. And uh, that's what, but I'm, I'm at a better weight now and I could certainly go with him, but I had things to do today and I didn't want to go with him. So he went and he's fine, he loves his little motorcycle rides. So that's where he is today. And you know, I've hesitated to say that sometimes because that woman made that snarky comment to me. I've gotten over it though, you guys. I've gotten over it. I've gotten over the snarky comments. You know, if they wanna make them, make them, I'll block them. I do it every time, every time. I just had a lady the other day uh, look at my home tour and say, oh, too many tchotchkes. And I'm like, lady? That's nothing compared to what I used to use or what I have used. Oh my Lord, I blocked her. You know, I just don't have time for that business. I don't have time for negativity. I don't have time for snarky comments. I don't have time for it. I'm too much of a positive person and I will not let these people pull me down into their doldrums. I will not allow it. I'm too upbeat, I'm too positive, I'm too happy, I'm going through my life and I'm happy to be able to put my feet on the floor every morning and walk through my life and be able to bring you guys, I'm gonna cry, I can feel it coming, <laughs> and bring you guys some con you know, content and share my life, you know? Ugh. And I know, I have harped on the negativity over and over and over and over again for years. I know I have, uh, but I just, I really just cannot stand it. It just really just drives me berserk. But anyway, regardless, so that's today's video. Wednesday's video will be, I'm going to take Tuesday off, I think, because actually we're going to visit my dad on Wednesday uh, just for the day, just going to be a little day trip and just to take him out to lunch, just to chit chat with him, just to spend the day with him, you know, just to say, hey, so I'm going to be making a strawberry shortcake for him and I'm going to be making chili. I'm going to be making chili for him and putting it in like freezer containers and stuff. I already have done both of these recipes for you guys, uh, so I don't know that I'll put them on video again because I think, my goodness, I think my strawberry shortcake's on. I've already got like two of them up, so, uh, and I think I've done my chili too. But, uh, but anyway, we're gonna go visit him Wednesday, but my next video will go up on Wednesday morning. That is if I can get it edited. We'll go up on Wednesday morning. And that video, I go through all of my little, uh, fall bins, little fall bins, a lot of fall bins, but I go into my basement and I take you through my fall bins and I pick and choose things out of the bins that I want to bring up and use for my blue and white fall decor. So that'll be Wednesday. I'm not sure if I'll have four videos this week. If I do Thursday would be the mantle because that's what I'm fixing to work on is my mantle. Uh, and then probably after that would be my hearth and then on we'll go through the series, you know, uh, I'm starting on the <clears throat> family room side of the house. 
uh, my mantle for fall is what I'm saying. Oh, my land, I didn't say that, did I? You're probably thinking, Arlen, you just did your mantle, and I did. But you'll see that, as I said the other day, this is gonna be more of a plug-in type of fall decor, you know? So I just wanted to uh, uh, address my elbow real quick here. I'm not gonna harp on my elbow. Uh, I had an email from one of you. I don't want to mention your name just in case you would not want your name mentioned, but bless your heart. Thank you so much. She was a former nurse and I have dealt with this kind of pain before and I have been told that it is, it is tennis elbow in years past. Uh, when the pain first started, I wasn't quite sure, but now I am. And Tracy over there at Secondhand Tracy Ann gave me a couple of oils that I want to go check out too and y'all have been telling me about a brace that I should get and but I wanted to thank the lady uh my subby who sent me that big long email thank you so much I cannot respond y'all guys I can't it is all it takes all I can do to do my editing and just to get my video do the do the videos you know and get them up and I need to keep going I need to I need to I'm just can't stop y'all I just can't I'm sorry I just can't do it I just can't do it. So I have to draw the line <laughs> somewhere. And unfortunately, that's got to be with too much typing on my computer. You know, so uh, my responses will continue to be, uh, I think I put a little note in the video because I've edited part of it. And I'm just going to put this car chit chat right at the beginning. Uh, I think I do say something in there about, you know, not that I won't be responding moving forward which as I've already told you has been getting harder and harder and harder anyway just because I get so many comments but I never ever want to hurt anybody's feelings not ever ever in a million years and I think I say somewhere that I've set the bar high for myself <laughs> and sometimes it's hard I think you'll see that coming up I say that I think in the a video about the downstairs you know when I'm in the basement uh you know that I've set the bar pretty high for myself and sometimes it's hard for me to reach my own bar that I've set you know so please forgive me moving forward here even with the elbow or without I'm just not going to be as good as I normal or I have been in the past uh, you know commenting back just because it's 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 a daunting <laughs> thing to do i love you guys so much you know that i love you guys to bet to bits to bits to bits you know and because if i'm not responding doesn't mean i don't love you and it doesn't mean that i'm not reading everything because i am i'm not gonna cry <laughs> wow i'm passionate this morning aren't i <laughs> anyway anyway i just wanted to bring you this little video this morning i'm going to home goods to uh look for something that I want to use for my hearth. Now, I don't want to say what it is because I probably won't find it, but you'll see that in the video moving forward. I'm not buying a big truck uh, much else, uh, but now and again when I come to a, you know, a, uh, a portion of my decor, I may need to do a little shopping just to pick up an item or something like that because trust me, I've gone through my coffers and I can't find what I'm what I'm wanting or what my mind's eye is seeing, you know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'll let you go for now. I just did, did want to chit chat with you. As I said, this is Sunday afternoon, so it's pretty close to real time here. <laughs> so I will let you go and morph on into my uh, my footage with some. Uh, it's going to get real florally here in just a second. <laughs> All righty, here we go on into the video. Bye. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm surrounded, you guys. I am surrounded. Look at all of these florals. Oh my goodness, I have been collecting florals for a long time. Not collecting them, but just, these are florals that I have had in my decor, in and out of my decor. I've used some of it, I've not used some of it. It is collecting and collecting and collecting in my garage, y'all. I haven't even brought in, <clears throat> pardon me, I haven't even brought in two, two or three bins and baskets of 
florals that I have in Ziploc bags, like I had earmarked for lantern centerpieces or other three-tiered tray things, things like that, more generic kind of type decor. But I thought it is time for me to get some organization in my life here before I start into a new series. You know, I'm not sure when you'll be seeing this video, whether it will be before or after I do my fall, my big fall haul. It very well might be after. This might be like the next Monday <clears throat> after that. But y'all, I need to get this done. And I thought, well, I might as well just bring y'all along with me just so you can see that it's not all butterflies and roses over here. It's work <laughs> to do this decorating stuff, you know? Uh, I guarantee you that I have not purchased one of these flowers when it wasn't on sale. I guarantee you every floral that I have here was purchased at at least 50% off, if not more. That doesn't mean I'm not a floral ho hoarder of <laughs> sorts, <laughs> because I am. Chris just, I had mentioned this to him the other day, and you remember I bought those buckets Y'all, I have been using those for other things, other storage things out on top, but for now, right now, it's holding some things that I'm gonna haul. And I thought, you know what? That might be a good staging area for me because my dining room table is always my staging area for what I'm fixing to haul for you guys. Well, I'm thinking I might just utilize those buckets that I have sitting up on top, that big old refrigerator we moved out there after our one broke and then Chris fixed it and you know, that whole debacle. So I may just use those for that. In the meantime though, Chris was in Home Depot this morning and apparently found these two bins uh, on sale and he picked up two. Now I don't know, the man could have had a coupon. He is the coupon king, I'm telling you. Since he retired, he just clips coupons all the time. People don't believe me. I mean, y'all do because y'all see me all the time, but people don't believe me that we live on a budget, y'all. We do. Yes, we have this house, but we watch our P's and Q's and our pennies and dimes, you know? We just don't spend money willy-nilly. So anyway, whatever. He found these couple of bins on sale. I am rambling to beat the band already this morning. I haven't even started this video yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, I am going to try to consolidate <laughs> this, these florals by colors into these two bins. And now in the garage, I left two of like half bins, you know, or I have one of, uh, one of just whatever greenery I had left is in one. And then in the other one are the florals that I'm gonna be utilizing for fall. I may not need a lot of florals, but because I'm gonna be bringing up some, excuse me, oh, because I'm gonna be bringing up some fall foliage just in the burnt orange but I did buy a bit of that and I still had blues and creams left from my blue and cream decor blue and white blue and cream decor so I have a bin of that stuff out there two bins of that stuff out there so I'm going to leave that because I'm will utilize that and I'm also if I see anything else in this menagerie that I think I might want to add to that I'll put that aside and add that to those bins but in the meantime I have my snippers here Lord willing, I can use my snippers. Do not want to set myself back. But I do need to cut these down a bit, some of them, because uh, they're just too long, you know, to sit on. And I want them to sit up nice. And the only place that I use really long stems is in that vase, you know, that sits out there in the foyer. And to be honest with you, I love what I have in there right now. And I don't have any plans of changing anything out of there right now. Other than for Christmas, I think I had some uh, flocked greenery that I'll probably pull back out and just switch, pull that out in a bundle, put the flocked in for Christmas, and then pull the flocked out and put that right back in. And for fall, I think I'm just gonna be adding some cream velvety pumpkin picks that I know I have somewhere downstairs. That might be another video, you guys. I have, uh, I've asked Chris that, to maybe line up my fall bins downstairs. And what I wanna do is look through them, not piece by piece by piece, but look through and see what I wanna pick and choose out of those fall bins to bring up here to add mostly to this side of the house. That I'm getting, going off on a tangent. Anyway, let's get started and see what I can do with these florals here. I don't even know where to start, y'all. 
I do not even know where to start, but I am gonna put you down further and put the camera up. Oh, take my shoes off, because they're falling off my feet. Anyway, I've got my pretty little, pretty little floral D shoes on. Okay. Some of this stuff, I don't even remember. I had, didn't even know I had, look how pretty that is. Didn't even know I had it, y'all. It was stuck up in a bin, but I know I'm gonna cut it down. I just know it. So this is obviously cream. This is cream. Let's go get the creams first, you know. And I will probably speed through, like I just said, because y'all don't need to sit through me cutting down tons of flowers. But you'll see it come together in fast motion, you know. Okie dokie, you guys. I have, as you can see, made two bins of all of my reds, burgundies, teals, uh, some gold, some cream that I know I'm not going to use. And then this bin is peaches and pinks and uh, other colors. But it's just, you know, it's so hard to organize this stuff because I only have so much space, you know? And so I, you know, I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> and that's gonna go on the top shelf out in my garage. So thankfully I did not find any bugs or anything like that. So uh, we keep the garage door shut and Chris keeps, you know, everything really clean out there. So no, didn't even see any bugs, didn't see any bugs. So all I have left here are all of my golds and some greenery. I'm gonna add the greenery to the, the basket I have outside and I'm gonna put all the golds in here because I may want to incorporate some of the gold color into my fall decor with the blue and the burnt orange. I'm not sure, but I did wanna keep it separate just in case I do. So I'm just gonna put those in this bin here and then I have some uh, blues that I'm going to go add to the blue bin that I have in the garage and I'm going to add the, the greenery to the green in the garage and then that'll be it and then we'll be done so I will probably take a little video after I'm done uh, just of where I put the flowers <laughs> and I'll probably talk to you in it but while I'm looking at you here I wanted to you know do some final words excuse me I had to take my sweater off I was just sweltering and I'm working hard running in and out in between everything Kristen called me I fed the dog who was laying back here laying right back here Chris he's gotten a really good haircut as of late look at him look at the buddy <laughs> Chris has taken a, a, about an inch and a half, uh, I think he said, or five eighths of an inch or something like that, you know, like uh, shaver over him all over the place and he is doing a lot better. He had a little ear infection that we've been dealing with, so we're trying to get his ears straightened out. Y'all, he's, he's struggling, my poor buddy, my poor buddy, you know. He gets up and he shakes. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you've seen my little conversation videos that I've had with him as he gets outside. And that's the only time he gets animated anymore is when he starts, you know, shaking his head a little bit and smelling that deer and he puts his nose up and he's so sweet. Anyway, <laughs> let me go into some final words and then I'll finish up and then I'll take a, one last little video, probably with me talking just to show you. 
and uh, of where this ends up. You know, I have a lot more to do in my garage, so we're not gonna, you know, look around too much out there, but I'll show you where this stuff ends up. <laughs> anyway, if y'all saw me, I was snipping with my left arm. My right arm, it still stings me to, to snip with my right. So, boy, oh boy, I'll tell you. Anyway, regardless, <laughs> I'm rambling, what's new? <laughs> I hope that all is well with everyone. And I thank y'all so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and to sit here with me and visit with me while I'm doing this, even though you can't talk back with me. Uh, you know, I appreciate y'all just kind of hanging out with me here, even if it's in kind of fast motion. But I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, Sam's back foot and I say, until next time, y'all take good good care. Stick around though because I'll do a one last video around in the garage a little bit. time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, you guys. Here I am in my garage. <laughs> Here's all of Chris's toys. There's his motorcycles. Yes, that's two motorcycles he has. That's an FJ1100. If you want to show your hubbies and then this is a honda goldwing yamaha fj 1184 i was pregnant with kristen when he purchased that <laughs> he fixed it all up and that thing does run but he has his polaris and he has his oh my goodness just a bunch of junk but anyway here is my <laughs> hot mess of a storage area right now Oh my goodness, I am a mess. There's all my pit berries. <clears throat> I've decided I'm going to utilize some of those three gallon Ziploc bags, I believe, and get that organized. I do not know what I have, and I need to get that organized. And then I have a bunch of pit berry picks up there. There's all my picture hangers. I'm semi organized out here, you guys. This is all of the Ziploc bags that have like like flowers in them. And I probably just am going to leave that like that because I do often come out here, you know, just to grab like a bag like that for one of my lantern toppers or something like that, you know. So I may go through them and organize and purge a little bit. But these are the things that I need to really go through. Here's all my lanterns. I don't have that many. You would think I would have more, but I reuse them so much that I really don't have that many. So but that's all of my lanterns except for my big one, which is downstairs in the basement my big one that that my dough bowl took its place you know and then i have a few bird houses but i don't have a bunch a bunch a bunch of stuff i have a lot of little stuff like this stuff but anyway and then here's all my ribbon and my ribbon and my ribbon and my ribbon <laughs> that's all my flags and all of my things for the front porch more ribbon up here and then i've got all of my little balls i use for my lanterns centerpieces there and i'm not sure what's in there i need to go through this stuff that's my tray up there that has the cardinals on it so yeah you know this is a catch-all y'all this is a catch-all some of my signs are there my little you know my little signs believe hope dream scatter kindness you know, they're just kind of sitting there. I need to really get this stuff organized. There's two of more of my black candle holders. But I need to get out here and most definitely do some organizing. That's all my mailbox signs in there and an umbrella. Oh, what a hot mess. There's my boots I wear out into the woods. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. But anyway, there's the two bins that I consolidated and... Oh, my goodness, Chris carried them out here for me and put them up there. That makes me feel better. At least I have everything with light colors that are still on stems. So I'm real happy with that. And then here's our big old kitchen refrigerator that was broken, we thought, beyond repair. And then Chris fixed it. 
<laughs> so we just moved it out here and it is the holder of water and diet uh, extra cheese <laughs> and my caffeine free diet coke I drink two a day or one if we've gone out for lunch so usually just one a day I have <laughs> So then we have this refrigerator that we moved from the other house. Uh, but anyway, here is, uh, up there is what I'm fixing to haul, some of it. If that's what I was talking about. I'm using, I'm gonna haul that. And you've probably already seen all this stuff though. I've probably already hauled it actually. But I'm getting ready to, I haven't hauled it for you yet. I'm getting ready to haul that little uh, lantern and other stuff that I have sitting up there in those buckets. And here is what uh, all the, gold that you saw me just put in and then here's all my creams and blues that I'm going to use for my fall decor and here are all the burnt orange florals that I have purchased this year to use to add in to my decor and then I found these kind of a gray blue pumpkin I thought they would be pretty along with the cream uh, the cream pumpkins that I have in picks like that. I have cream ones that I have this color. Wouldn't that be pretty out in the foyer? Maybe I'll put a picture here of uh, how it'll look in that vase. That's where I was thinking about using those. And then that's all the greenery I have left. I don't have a lot of greenery left at all. And then that's a garland back there. So, but that's it. I've got gazing balls up there. And Chris has actually ordered some more shelving. So I might be able to spread out a little bit. So, but anyway, that's my car. <laughs> but this is the garage and how it looks. So I'm gonna be working on this. And if I get any more done, I'll bring you along. Or if I get a wild hair like I did today to do some more organizing, I will. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure how or when I will get to all this, but it needs to be gotten to for sure. Anyway, y'all see the kind of the before, kind of the after, those two are the after, but you, this is kind of the before, and maybe I'll bring you back some other time for the after. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it, you guys. I'm gonna shut this one out right now. And uh, Chris just hung up that ladder today. He just pulled that puppy right up there and hung it up. <laughs> anyway, there's the front yard. Looks like we're fixing to try to get some, a rainstorm or something. So, but anyway, I still haven't used that either, y'all. I need to use that somewhere. That pretty birdcage, I never did use it. I got that, real, do you remember Deep Sale at Joanne's? I never did use it. But anyway, that's it for now. So, <laughs> I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.